Welcome to this course, Introduction to Cybersecurity Literacy. This is Lesson 12, Managing Passwords. Many of you have probably heard it said that you should have a strong, unique password for each of your various password-protected accounts and devices. And you have probably also heard that you should change your passwords frequently and never, ever write down your passwords. But let's be practical. Obviously, taking all these recommendations together creates problems for your memory. Most of us can't remember an array of complex, constantly changing passwords, at least not without some help. So in this video, I'm going to share three tips for practical password management. Securely record your passwords, rank your passwords, and use password management software. Password management tip number one is to securely record your passwords. You may have heard before that you should never write your passwords down. To that, I say never say never. It's okay to record your passwords, you should just be thoughtful and secure about it. Of course, it's not secure to write your password down on a sticky note that you keep near your desk. And because computers are easy to search, it's not usually secure to keep your passwords in a simple computer folder. So if you write your passwords down, consider using a pen and paper rather than writing them on a document on your computer. And keep them in a secret, secure place. Just in case your password log is compromised, you should be sneaky about the way that you write them down. Don't label them as passwords and don't clearly label which passwords go to which accounts. Whenever possible, use some kind of keyword or code that only you will understand. In this example, I've embedded password clues into a phony and somewhat confusing guest list for a party. you should be able to come up with your own private system of clues that works for you. Something that you understand and something that you can remember. Password management tip number two is to rank your passwords. One way to cut down on the number of passwords that you have to remember is to rank your accounts into three tiers and to treat your passwords differently depending on which tier it falls into. In the first tier are the accounts where you have the most at stake. For example, your primary email account and your financial accounts would be Tier 1 accounts. For these accounts, you should choose a strong, unique password for each account and make a standing appointment with yourself to change these passwords every six months. In the second tier are the accounts where you have a medium amount at stake. For example, with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts, you probably have a medium amount at stake. These accounts are full of private information but they can't normally be used to defraud you directly. People can't steal from you using Facebook, at least not yet. For these accounts, you should choose strong, unique passwords and make a standing appointment with yourself to change them once a year. For these accounts, instead of composing whole new passwords for every account, it might make sense to simply cycle through your passwords. For example, maybe you make your old Facebook password become your new Twitter password, and maybe your old Twitter password becomes your new Instagram password, and so on. In the third tier are accounts where you have little at stake. For accounts where you feel like you have little at stake, for example, maybe the login information that you use for an online newspaper, you should choose a strong password and just reuse it across several accounts. It's not really necessary to change the passwords on these lowest security accounts unless you have reason to believe that one of them has been compromised. If you think that an account has been compromised, you should change the password and also change the answers to any of your security questions that are associated with that account. If the account isn't particularly important to you anyway, then you might consider just deleting it altogether and starting over with a new account. Password management tip number three is to use password management software. Web browsers provide the option of remembering passwords for you, and this can be helpful. If your web browser remembers your passwords for you, then you're unlikely to forget your passwords. Also, the web browser will probably automatically fill in the passwords for you, which means you don't have to type your password quite so frequently. Typing your password less frequently makes you less vulnerable to, say, a keylogging attack, which is a kind of attack where cybercriminals use special hardware or special software to record the keystrokes on your computer. Of course, relying on your web browser to remember your passwords has its trade-offs. 
If your web browser stores all of your passwords, then anybody who gains access to your web browser also has access to your passwords. For this reason, if you're going to allow your web browser to remember your passwords for you, then it's a good idea to password protect your web browser itself. Most web browsers have security settings that allow you to set up a password protected account for the browser itself. You may also consider using another kind of password management software. For example, the Firefox add-on LastPass will generate strong passwords and remember them for you. But once again, using such software does have trade-offs. The management software itself becomes a single point of failure. Whether you're using a web browser or a web browser add-on to manage your passwords, these management programs are usually accessible by one single master password. If that master password to become lost, stolen, or shared, then all of your accounts could be compromised. Many security experts recommend that people use password management software, and so it is a good idea, but you still have to be very careful with your master password. Okay, that's all I have for you for now concerning password management. We've covered three tips in this video to securely record your passwords, to rank your passwords, and to use password management software. I hope these three tips help you to find a password management strategy that works well for you. In the next video, we're going to begin learning about email and some of the security issues that come with it.